Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about an op amp, but specifically using an op amp as a comparator. So, I have just a generic LM324, you don't need anything fancy for a comparator. And here is the circuit. No, we don't have any zoom. Anyway, I have the op amp, right? I have the output just connected through an LED and a resistor to ground. There's no connections between the inverting and non inverting inputs. That's what this minus input is called. It's called the non-inverting input. And this plus input is called... I mean, the minus input is called the inverting input, sorry. And the plus input is called the non-inverting input. Basically, when neither of those is hooked up through any loop to the output of the op-amp, the op-amp sort of turns into a comparator. Now, the way that works is if the non-inverting input is higher than the inverting input, it'll, the output will go high or go to the supply rails or close to it. If the inverting input is um, higher than the non-inverting input, it will go to the negative supply rail. So I just have it as a positive supply rail uh, for 5 volts and a negative supply rail, I just have ground. And um, connected to the inverting input, I have uh, two 1K resistors and a resistor divider, which is making about 2.56 volts. I have a variable PSU connected up to the inverting input. That means we can adjust the voltage, and when the uh, voltage goes above, above 2.56 volts, you can see the output go high, and when it goes below, meaning the inverting input is higher, you can see it go, um, the LED go low. So we're just going to turn this on here, and, um, well, right now, I've got to get my multimeter hooked up in a sec, alright. So now you can see I'll give this a shadow. The LED is on. We have about 4.0 volts. Going to wind this down here. Okay. We have 1 volt now. It's not on because 1 volt, because the inverting input, which is about 2.56 volts, is higher the, than the non inverting input because that's at 1 volt. Now we're going to turn it up a bit slightly to um, 1.5 volts. You see it's still going at 1.6, 1.8, 1.92. Two point three, and the these comparators are very exact. So now we're at two point nine, two point five volts. You can see two point five volts is higher than whatever we would be measuring at this resistor divider right there. So we're measuring two point five eight or two point five seven nine, and right there we are measuring two point five seven one. So we have 2.571 on the resistor divider, and on the power supply we have a 2.579, so you can see that's very exact. If I touch this even a bit, turn it down, Two point five six four. We're at 1.8. Sorry, my power supply is a bit, um, a bit jumpy because it doesn't use a multi-turn pot. 2.2, it's off. 2.51, it's off. 2.6, it's on. So you can see they're very exact. And that's how you'd use one as a comparator with no feedback loop. So you would do it like this, and when, you can obviously, you can use any voltage on either of these, but you can, oh, there you can see the LED shining through, or 2.641 volts, if we turn it down a bit, to 1.4, it's off, if we turn it up more, to 3.7, you can see it turns on. But that's how you'd use it, so the function of operation, just to highlight it again, is when the non-inverting, my multimeter speaking at me, alright, when the non-inverting input is higher, when the non-inverting input is higher than the inverting input, the output goes high or to the, to very close to the positive supply rail. When the inverting input is higher than the non-inverting input, the output goes towards the negative supply rail, very close to it. So that's really the use of an op amp as a comparator. It's very simple. You know, uh, not much not much I can say about this. There's not uh, I don't really know of any formulas or anything, but I mean that's it. It's it's pretty exact. So if you need to compare two voltages, see which one's higher. You could use this in a power supply, say, to say um, you have your input voltage, right, and you have your output voltage, and you could say if your output voltage 
becomes higher than, you know, some set voltage, you can use a resistor divider to set the maximum voltage, and if it becomes higher, this one would switch on, and you could have a warning light, or you could switch on a relay, which would disconnect the output, or something like that. But that's just some uses, and it doesn't have to be a variable power supply, this can be any signal you wish. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.